pero mukhang papasok na agad tayo dito sa ating game 2 it's all about the pacing and let's head on to the draft execration goes to the blue side Evo SG sa kanila man ang red side at ang two picks na pagkasunod Honestly, Evos SG, if they don't ban out Ling in this phase, medyo, ano, medyo parang binaril nila yung sarili nila sa paa. Execration, they're still looking like they're playing against Blacklist International, but that is to be forgiven. Knowing na, again, Evos SG adapted a lot. Uy, hindi ka tayo sa screen itong ano. Uy, pero bakit sa atin nanonood si, ano, si SG? Wow, okay, ibang ibang team yun, ibang team yun. Oh, wait, ibang team ba yun? Oh, ibang team yun. Oh, okay, they still ban out the glue. Evos SG respecting the, uh, the hero pool of Execration. Pero remember, Execration, their first pick. And daming first pick material ni Execration. There's the Lunox, there's the Selena, there's the Kupra, and there's also the Benedetta. Ooh. And looking at the bands right now, no? It was SG, Execration, and as you said earlier, Midnight, talagang they're looking towards the same type of bands. And feeling ko, ah, it was SG. They're still quite confident on how they drafted in first game. Alam nila that it should have worked out for them, pero hindi gumana. They're still sticking to what worked at least on the most part. It may be adjust yung mga konting microplay na nagkamali sila na mamaya pa natin makikita. Execration, tatanggalin nila ulit ang yeah. matinda. This is very much identical sa first game bans natin for yeah. Execration. Yeah, yun yung ano, yun yung sinasabi natin kanina na sobrang typical nito for Execration that they opt to ban out Matilda as last kasi tinitignan nila yung viable options especially when they're second pick talagang hindi nila pinapakita yung Matilda ban kasi they want to pressure the first pick team to pick up the Matilda now they're on the first pick they're telling Evos SG na wala kaming balak mag Matilda like ever like legit no kasi ang, again ang mga first pick materials dito for Exe is Selena, Lunox uh, okay there you go the, the Eve ban Evos SG opted to ban out the Eve this is probably a Selena first pick for execration. Mm -hmm. Let's see. First three bans for both teams. Natanggal na nila and execration. Taking their time. Hindi na nagmamadali. Ang daming options to open. You still have the Benedetta. You, still, you even have a Jawhead. You can even pick a Kufra if you want to. Ang dami talagang pwede. Well, for the side of Evo's SG, para sa akin, napaka-familiar na opponent yung ganitong drafting na ginagawa ng execration. Eh. It's like you drafted for your grand finals para sa ito execration. And execration, feeling ko nga pwede pa nilang ilabas. May, sa tingin nyo ba may ilalabas pa silang paint para ramps dito? <laughs> pag, I mean, pag nag first week Selena, sila po, ah, kaya nyo, hindi. Mukhang ilalabas nila ang Johel. Magkakaroon ba ng seminar dito si Chak no kung paano mag Johel? And execration, they definitely go for aggressive playstyle. And ito, napaka-aggressive. Head especially if early game ang usapan. Kanina nga lang do, Midnight, Tifos SG, they got the Jawhead pero hindi tayo nakikita ng aggressive rotations. From Tifos SG, they used that of Jawhead a little bit defensively at talagang nag-go-go lang sila for skirmishes on actual big fights. Well, again, that's the problem of facing uh, a Grok as a Jawhead. You can't literally uh, make any uh, offensive moves uh, without a flicker kasi yun lang yung option mo na mag-flicker kaya hanapin mo yung target sa likod ni Grok then try to take down that target. Kasi nga, ang ginagawa ng isang to is para sa shooting dito. Now, I like the Jawhead first pick from Execration. This is them understanding that EVOS, SG, or Singapore in general doesn't really pick the Selena on the first two picks. Lagi nilang tinatert pick Selena or banned on the second phase. So they opted to go for the Jawhead para makuha nila yung maximized zero pool with Shaknu and they let go of the Granger Benedetta para makuha nila yung Selena. So this is overall good understanding from Execration as to how Singapore likes playing with the two picks on the red side. This is quite scary for the side of Execration. This is the tempo setting heroes na hinahanap ng Execration. If they ever command yung rhythm nga, katulad sinabi natin, if they want to be aggressive, they can. But right now, heroes, that's si Harith. It's a 100% oh, okay na. Pwede win rate. Na. Pwede na. <laughs> ano pwede na? Hindi ko nakita. 100% ano win rate si Harith. Nako eh, syempre, one game pa lang. Pero 100%. Four games. One games. Four games. Games. Four games. Ay, four games. Four games. Ba? Four games. Don't match for na. <laughs> Ayo nga pala, sorry. Akala ko for this match lang. Pero yeah, 100% win rate on this Harith. Plus, a Selena pick from eto Max. So, nabanggit ni Butters dito na merong tempo control lang Evo's SG but for execration feeling ko yung tempo control nila may skill shot lang kumbaga pag kumagat ang kanilang abyssal arrow o kumagat yung eject sa tamang target mabibreak nila yung tempo na meron ang Evo's SG but I love this popular group of pick ha? talagang gusto nilang tapatan ang naibigay ng Selena uh -huh. 
And Bobonet Gupa, Ivo's SG, that is going to be their pick. And uh, execution, Lunox naman na kanilati ng Galway for Ivo's SG. Pinanggal nila yung Lord na pwedeng gamitin ni Kiel VJ. Actually, I like the, I like the Bobonet Gupa pick up from Ivo's SG. There's no Farsa potential anymore as they already saw the Serena and Harith. Now you have to take uh, take out the Lancelot of Kiel VJ. Even if it's not the best assassinate execution has played, it's really good against the lineup of Evo's SG. Your Popper and Koopa, Benedetta, and Granger, napakahirap labanan ng Lancelot if you have these three uh, heroes. Unless they're willing to let go of the Lancelot and pick up something uh, on the sideline, like for example, the Parats. Para lang may ma maximize nila yung, uh, yung fact na pwede kasing i-pick ni Execration yung Selena tsaka Lancelot. So most likely parang uh, ano, tinetelegraph lang ni Evo's SG. Okay, maglalaan Selena sa XE. Eh. Ang ganda ng first pick para sa akin. Sa atin sa second pick. Yeah, and they ban out the Pakito. Ibig sabihin, inopen nila yung sinasabi mong Lancelot and Execration. They ban out the Varsa, even if we, uh, it's more of a reactive. Yep. Baga, ayaw nilang may kalaban yep. na Varsa on Evo's SG side. Now, they have actually a daming options ng Execration dito ngayon against Evo's SG. The Selena against the Populent Koopa alone would be a battle of information. But apart from that, the tempo could easily switch between two teams. That early damage coming in from Granger and Benedetta versus yung early potential na tumama yung mga skill shots nito ni Selena to the follow up of the Joe. Again, execution versus Evo's SG based on the first three picks alone. Talagang magiging ito ano yung term yun don yung pagsobrang maaksyon. Your team is taking. Bakbakan. Well, balik bagan. Bakbakan. Action Jackson. Madami. Hinaharap ko yung term eh. Kasi mayroong Action Jackson eh. Oh, marami. Ayan na yung Lance. Oh. Ayan na yung Lance. Ay, so, I like so, it. Lance and Uranus. Our last pick ng Execration. Last two picks rather. Evo's SG. They go for Rafaela. Which means there is a probability na kumuha na lang sila ng tank side trainer. Kasi nga medyo kulang yung kanilang ano eh, tanking potential. There's two, uh, there's two uh, ways to go about this for US SG. Tama yung sinabi ni Bonnie Serena na uh, semi-tank actually, no? like uh, the heroes of uh, Yuzong, mm -hmm. Mabarat. Uh, Pero one thing that they could go for is they can flex the Benedetta XP lane and they can actually go for a Hayabusa gold lane. Wow, that is gonna be a big turn for EVOS SG if ever. But I want to point out the Rafaela pick. I like this Rafaela pick mainly because it answers a lot of the... Oh, wow, they're actually gonna flex the Benedetta, but they're not gonna go for a gold lane Hayabusa. They're gonna go for the Alice instead in the gold lane. Panapat dito kay Ketra. It is a great catch. Madali siyang makapag-zone out ng mga tao sa isa-sarili nila ng mga comfort zone, specifically yung mga Zaman Force. And uh, this is going to be interesting. Evo's SG, are they gonna take us to a game number three? But right now, we will introduce the players with their heroes at Putiti Time of Parang sa Land of Dawn. Yung bilog na naman ay lalabas anytime soon. Hindi nyo naman ginawa eh. Ba't nyo sa akin inaasa lahat? Ay, pasensya na kapatid. Mapasok na tayo sa ating game number 2. Ano yan? Ako na play by play. Ako pa sound effects. Siyempre. Siyempre. Kaya ka nga. Alam mo, alam mo. Dagdag ba yan yun? Dagdag. 500 per game. 500 per sound effects. Pero mamaya na tayo. Mamaya na tayo sa sound effects. Let's head out to the Celestial Palace for game number 2. Na Evo's SG versus Execration. And at na napaka, I think this is standard rotations coming in for the side of Evo's SG. Medyo gusto lang nilang mag maging safe, kumbaga. Tinitikitan na nila si Granger. Eh. Alam nila kung ano nangyari ni Game 1. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I would have preferred the uh, the Esmeralda pick for uh, Evo's SG over the Alice. Because it gets you an it gets you idea. You're against uh, Uranus, but you're also against a Harem. But you're losing match na kagadian for Evo's SG. Esmeralda was the perfect pick if they want to go that route. No, yung mage uh, side lane na kaya lumaban against Execration. But then again, what uh, what Alice provides for Evo's SG is the constant lane pressure and the mobility factor of the hero. Something that is really important against the likes of Selena's. Uh, Lancelot, even the, you know, even against the Johan. And Evo's SG right Oy. now. A girl, mukhang babagsak, pero very low HP lang pala. Uh, good thing there's a Purify Dot just to uh, bail himself out. Pero kasi ang papasin mo dito for Evo's SG, dalawang Purify na nila ang doubt. 
And this is gonna be big for execration. Dahil ang first turtle natin ay magsuspawn ng 35 seconds from now. At medyo malayo pa ang cooldown ng Purifies na yun. It's gonna be a big advantage for execration. Kenra, confidence showing already with that TP. Bino, binabawian ay no kanina ng game 1. Ah, pinatay mo ako. Ah. Oh. Ngayon, lugi ka sa akin sa matchup. Lakot ka sa akin. Pero alam mo, uh, focusing on Evo's SG a bit more dito. Zone. He is one mean Benedetta player. Isa to sa mga favorite heroes niya. Oh, Ginamit niya to halos dati. But Soul will just try to get away. Ayaw niya makipagano. Ayaw niya makipagsuntukan. Medyo mas mahaba kasi yung spada ni Kill VJ ngayon. Mm -hmm. Medyo mas masakit. Level 4 na rin ang Lancelot na rin sa level 3 Benedetta. So medyo egul talaga. They don't want to go for that fight. Pero Turtle ha, bilis bumagsak. Mabilis talaga bumagsak, men. Pero yun, hindi mabilis ang pagba... Hindi... Hindi mabilis. Well, mabilis. Mabilis. mabilis sa sobrang bilis nga, akala mo hindi na mabilis. Oo. Oh, eh. Sa sobrang bilis, akala ko hindi na mabilis. Tama yan. But, oh, kill BJ. Turtle Nakuha na niya yung turtle, pero hindi natin nakikita yung pag sa baba. So, isipin nyo na lang. Kaya nakakuha niya. Oo oh, nga. And that gives execration a big gold lead, at least for the early game. First blood plus turtle. That's an immediate 800 gold lead para sa execration. Ano kayong gagawin nila dito sa tempo na sa sila yung nag-start? Kumbaga sila yung naglapag ng unang paa sa sayaw na mangyayari in this game. Mm -hmm. And tingnan mo ha, yung pwesto dito na execration doon sa mapa ng EVOS SG, masyado silang tapak dito sa may mismong gitna na ng tier 2 at tier 3 turrets. Gusto mo pumunta Singapore na rin siyo? Nako? Eh, baka nga nasa Poland na dong. Papasok na dun sa inhibitor. <laughs> ano gusto pumunta? Di ba nasa Singapore uh, oh, naman? Oo, oh, nga pala, oo oh, nga pala. Tama naman, oh, tama naman. Tama naman. Tama anyway, naman. anyway, dito sa execration for the Lancelot. No? Again, sabi mo kanina na sila yung unang umapak dito sa dance floor ng execration. They should. They have a Selina, so they can get, uh, they can they can take resources much faster compared to Evo's SG, and they're also playing Lancelot. As a, Lance, as a Lancelot in a game, you'd want to establish at least a thousand gold lead, then you start taking up the resources of the enemy, kasi kailangan leading ka talaga against the enemy para mag-burst on mo yung mga targets na gusto nyo patay. And the soul ah, magiging target sa may kabila, but Kelra, still alive! Oh, wow! Oh! Okay. Grabe yun! Ang Grabe. galing ni Kelra dito, kumahanap ng lusot dun sa rotation ng apat na tao, Apat na, Ibo says she, apat yun. Apat, apat, apat na tao ang iiwasan ni Kelra pero they're gonna go for the third instead at mukhang wala na magagawang execration. Joke lang! <laughs> Naubusan ng minion. Naubusan ng minion indeed. Potato. They might just actually give this up kasi nandito na si Chak, no? Yeah. Ayaw nila pahuli pa. And uh, si Pokemon dito. Oh! Ano ba? Unstoppable Force. Funny! Pero look at that arrow. Connection. Chak to Max. Nako, it's gonna be another Pokemon na nahuli. Game 2 na, Gatakachemol pa rin, Butters. Gatakachemol, Kenra. Wala na siyang Tore dito, pero he seems to be happy kasi it, nakakuha siya ng isang kill and never pa siya natitake down kahit may format rotation na naganap. And speaking of format rotations, nakaganti naman ang execration doon sa taas. Actually, ah, Habang nangyayari yung four-man rotation, nagkaroon ng cross-map play si Execration, sila pa nakapuha sa kill. It's a third for a kill at mukhang turtle pa nga makasensecure ng Execration dito unless may steel na magagana pero Lancet at Kiana, truthful na. Napakahirap agawan niyan. Thorn Rose Retribution, lahat na, lahat ng klase ng burst damage yung gusto makita. Pwede niya ibigay at kaya niya tanjahin yun. Cool. Depende sa kanyang damage output and so, hindi niya kinakaya si Kenjo dito. Malakumbaga, parang exorcist. Pinato pa nga si Pokemon. Karakachemol na naman. At eto si Pokemon na naman ang pinaka-target. Pero hindi nga siya tutumba. And speaking of tutumba, at mukhang tutumba dito si Soul. Pero grabe, ang damage pa to execution in. And girl, potato. Sila ang target dito ni Kiel. Pero Kiel forced to go out. Grabe yung, grabe yung ruta niya dun. Grabe yung ruta niya doon. Nakita mo ba yun? Oo, parang naka-GPS to. Naka-GPS. Lubiko, pagdating sa ganyan. Never ka pwedeng mawala. Sabi sa kanya ng GPS niya doon, pagka-dash mo kayo, ano, pagka-dash mo doon kayo, Pokemon, turn left. Tapos, turn right. Si Chakno, nakahuli ng isang, nakahuli ng isang member dito. Soul goes down, Pokemon goes down, and Kiel VJ wants more. Definitely wants more. And kinagat siya ni Kichu doon. Masyadong mabilis palibasa. Naka-smart 5G. Sobrang bilis talaga ang pasok doon ni Kuya Mo Kiel VJ. Pero nakagat eh. Kumbaga, sa sob alam mo yung pag tumakbo ka ng mabilis sa aso, mas nalo ka nga habulin. Mm -hmm. 
Pero sa side track ko lang kayo sinolo kill ni Edomax si Sol sa top. Oh, Ay! Okay. <laughs> Nako, alam mo tama, alam mo pag-usapan Sino, natin yan. Sinolo, sinolo kill nung si Lina, yung Benedetta. Gano'ng kakalupit para magawa mo yun? At yung Encho dito, naiwakasan lahat ng bullets. Pero yung last bullet pala ay tatama pa rin. Nagantay si Potato na mahawakan ng Alice para straight line. Hindi niya kailangan mag-isipusan niya yung takot. Oo, eto po yun yung tipo na pag-ikipa tumama ay kasalanan mo na yun. Wala nang slow, na-snare pa nga. In potato, he lands all of the bullets at mukhang papasukin dito si Ken. BJ, back to execution in! At gusto niya lang talaga mag-take down nung ganong mga minions. Pero, wow, Evos, JPL, tatakbo lang sila. And seems to me na mas magiging maganda para sa kanila yung pag-take down ng turrets at pag-control ng mapa. Yeah. Again, bunga blake tayo sa signature playstyle ni Ibos SG, yung constant pressure sa objectives. And this is where you start seeing the benefits of having an Alice. Kahit hindi ganun kaganda yung start niya sa laning stage, the, the presence, no? yung threat, na kapag nag-objective sila, may isang hero na, big, na pwedeng biglang pumasok against Execration. Mm -hmm. And Jack 2 going in, ladies and gentlemen. At oh, no. dami oh, wow! Yung... And Kelra, Zaman Force, hinahabol si Potato, and Potato can get out! JPL ang pinaka-next target para sa kanila and Jack 2 yung hinahabol Ooh. kanina siya na ang nahahabol pabalik at tatakas na sila doon keeping the casualty slow na no, wala man sa kanila si Eto Max pero nakuha isa pa oh. pero sinamahan mo pa ng isa makulit makulit pumasok pa ulit at binigyan binigyan ng execration and execration ha akala mo malapit na bumagsak si Jack no, pero hindi siya bumagsak ng walang gante flicker out binalik no, binalibad po, sa buong tropa Pokemon na naman at nadami sana na pwede puntahan ni Pokemon doon kaso hinarangan lahat ni Eto Max no. and execration they definitely control the tempo right now 3k gold lead and a 7k ay 7k kill lead as well for execration at lahat ata ng third sa kanila din napunta yeah honestly this is something that you would expect on the side of execration whenever they get joined in selena and gusto ko yung item build up ni renzi ah yung uh, brute force best place for uh, best plate first item siya yung kumaga parang cctv naman this time around hindi na si chapter kasi ang trabaho ni chapter dito is to set up and make sure na may mapapatay kagad sila sa side ng ibos sg kaya ang ganda ng play niya kanina nung uh, akala akala natin Execration yung lugi. Pero pumasok si Chak, sabi niya, ah, kala nyo, di ako lalaban, ha. Tinapon niya pabalik si Potato para maabot siya ni KLBJ at ni Kelra. Slowly but surely, yung members dito ng EVOS SG, kumukuha sila ng Torre, left and right. Habang si Renjo naman, kinokontrol niya itong baba para makuha yung oh, mga turrets. Renjo? This looks like the second turret at 148 HP. Hindi pa tutumba dito, pero sabi nila Kelra, ah, sige, may sumagot doon. Kunin na natin itong nasa taas at palitin na natin ang mundo ng Evo's SG. Dabi, kunwari na lang, hindi ko nakita yung holy baptism na yun. But right now, there is a fight happening, ladies and gentlemen. Evo Zone, next target, Kelra, is going crazy sa mga bagay na ginagawa niya dito. And I feel, I feel like Evo's SG, they could have gotten that fight. Kaso hindi talaga tumama yung holy baptism ng Rafaela. If they got... Kendra early with that ultimate. That could have been a different story pero nabigyan ng free reign si Kendra dahil nga doon sa hindi tumamang ultimate, Zaman Force na pag only dash, only damage and kita naman kung gano'n nakasakit si Kendra at this part of the game. 5-0-4 on a harit. This is a dominating performance coming out from Execration, Evo's SG. Considering na sobrang ganda ng start nila, it seems to me na hindi talaga nila mahawakan yung kalamangan na meron sila pagdating sa early game, papuntang mid-game. Yeah, medyo, eh, medyo nakikita din kasi natin yung playstyle ng Evo's SG. They're really Oy, not good. Oy! Tinamaan na oh. naman! Isa po! Isa pa! Na naman. Oh. Ay! Mukhang may takas! Sip na, sip na. Epas siya doon, epas siya. Pero munti ka na naman ni Renzio. Makatakas oh, kaya wow. siya dito. Final bullet pa tumama. But still, fact remains, kahit matake down yung si Renjo, there, are, there is still pressure on other sides of the map. And, mapansin ninyo, it takes a lot of resources. Ang daming resources na nasasayang kapag tinitake down mo ang isang Uranus at full HP. Yeah. And again, we, we go back to the idea na 
Si Evo's SG, hindi nila talaga playstyle na kailangan nila protectan si Potato. As much as possible, they want to be the ones who are pre putting the pressure against Execration. But then again, you are playing into Assassins. Actually, ang daming pwedeng pampatay ng Execration to anybody on the side of Evo's SG. Kapag tinamaka ka ng arrow, patay ka. Kapag nahuli ka ni Chakno, patay ka. Kapag nakita ka ni Kel BJ, patay ka rin. So, ang daming options na Execration to get pickups. And at the same time, yung teamfight nila, lamang pa sila kasi yung teamfight ng Evo's SG, it's an, it's an Alice, and you naturally just lose. To and looking at the stats right now for Evo's SG, I feel like they dapat sila pumulang sa damage. But then again, the Benedetta is zero for zero. Dapat hindi sila kinukulang sa damage dito. They have two supports, sure. Pero meron silang Benedetta. Kaso nga lang, 0-4-0. The moment na hindi magkaroon ng maraming items or at least two items on time ang isang Benedetta, eh medyo kukulangin talaga ang damage even when you land the Alexo final blow. Mm -hmm. But you do have to remember, late game potential, there is some in Evo's SG. The Alice is there. Considering pa na talagang kailangan pang iset up or kailangan pa talagang patagaling yung laro para sa kanila ngayon. But for the side of execution, they do have the Harit. Meron pa silang Kel VJ dito at Eto Max na kayang mag-pick up ng kahit sino at, moment, at certain moments. And si Chak too, pwede pa siya maghain ng kills para sa teammates niya. This might be dangerous for execution. They will be securing this Lord, pero konti na lang eh. That could have been a 3v5 or a 3v4 for Evo's SG, pero hindi nila kinuha. They didn't risk it. Yeah, things will about to be become worse for Evo's SG. The pickup na yung Divine Glaive kay Kelrad. That Harith, yung damage output itong taong to, it's gonna hurt a lot on the side of Evo's SG. Yeah, this all tumatakbo. Tinatakbo niya talaga at yung Evo's SG, hindi na sila lumalayo doon sa kanilang mga, doon sa kanilang base. Alam nila na sobrang daming pick of potential na meron niya yung execution na isang maling tapak niyo lang. Literal, kaya kayo pasabugin. And Renjo gets out. Oh. Pero nahuli sa likod si Potato at hindi ganun katagal yung pagkaka-disable sa kanya. Kenra, ayan, nakaganti ng isa. Bagsak dito si Alice at mukhang Tore ang susunod nila. And that's a one for one. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Arrow, wala namang nangyayari. Wala namang pala. Wala namang nangyayari. Ang bahala, ang bahala. Ang bahala. Practice oh. lang. Oh, yeah. Kinagat lang. Konting pagpasarap. Oh. And uh, as you can see, there is a Lord going for the turret doon sa may taas. And unti-unti, uh, unti-unting nawawalan dito ng space. Ang side of Evo's SG. At tumama na naman kay Zone. Pero Zone is much more ready sa mga ganyan areas. Pagka parang may arrow to the heart, laging may arrow to the stone naman dito. Sa ating game, grabe si Eto Sobrang lalim naman. Sobrang lalim. Imagine mo dong, sobrang lalim ng abyssal arrow, lumulusot na sa puso, diretsong kaluluwa na. Ganong, ganong asintado si Eto Max. Mm -hmm. Execration, they are just lurking the area. Kung baga, ito yung pinakalamang nila para sa akin. Eh. Like, meron din naman ganito yung side ng Eagles SG. Pero I feel for execration, yung freedom na meron sila sa mapa ngayon. Parang ang dali maglagay ng abyssal trap. Yeah. Para talaga makita yung mga tao sa paligid, pero si Chaco na yung pinakalikod. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna back off. Ayaw nila mag-engage. Disengage lang sila. I mean, at this point, execration, they're just looking to get all the resources on the side of Evo's SG. Kapag may tinama ng araw, we go for it. Kapag may lumabas at natala na ng Chaco, we go for it. Pokemon! Naku po, meron siyang truncheon dito, pero this might be a disaster for Evo's SG. Rapo, mapasok. Yung pana hindi tatama, pero wala ko silang pakialam doon. Renjo and the others, they go oh. in. Binato pa, si, binato pa ni Chaco si Renjo palabas para save siya. Two members on the side of Evo's SG down. Renjo and the others, andito sila sa area. And si Selina, nasa labas. Bato lang siya ng bato ng pana oh. at hindi na naman tatama. Pero those are good arrows kasi laging na zone out. Oh. Laging na-isolate yung ibang members ito. The side ng Evo's SG. At eto na si Kel BJ going oh. in. Phantom execution. Ubus. Tumaba sa karamihan. Ubus. And that is going to be it. Walang buhay dito para sa side ng Evo's SG and Execration. They take the series with a 2-0.